In this head and neck imaging review article in the current issue from authors in England and Portugal, Dr. Timothy Beale and colleagues describe the use of high frequency, namely 7 to 18 megahertz linear and 6.5 to 8 megahertz sector transducer ultrasound for the anatomic and functional assessment of the larynx. While radiologists rarely use it for laryngeal abnormalities, ultrasound provides distinct advantages, particularly the ability to assess pathology in real time. The article begins with a detailed description of normal laryngeal anatomy as seen on static transverse and sagittal sonographic images obtained in the midline, as well as the paramedian and parasagittal planes respectively. Cine clips available in the online article show the normal midline transverse sweep and demonstrate normal vocal cord movement. After the midline transverse sweep, the second and third sweeps are right and left paramedian transverse sweeps. These are annotated on the static images seen in figures 3 and 4 in the article. The fourth and fifth sweeps are right and left longitudinal sweeps respectively from posterior to anterior. These are also illustrated in figure 5. An important anatomic landmark is the paraglottic space that extends between the ventricle and overlying thyroid lamina, which is a submucosal route for subglottic extension of glottic tumors and is not visible at endoscopy. In laryngeal cancer, the pre-therapeutic evaluation for staging, treatment planning, and prognosis is comprised of laryngoscopy with cross-sectional imaging by CT and or MRI. In particular, imaging is used to assess the subucosal extension of disease and invasion of the pre-epiglottic and para-epiglottic fat, cartilage, and the extra laryngeal space. Ultrasound can be a useful adjunct to pre-therapeutic staging in laryngeal carcinoma as it can detect the presence or absence of cartilage invasion, augment the detection of submucosal disease, and identify subtle extra laryngeal extension not visible by CT or MRI. Regional nodal status is also assessed by ultrasound, where pre-laryngeal or Delphian nodes which are an important route of lymphatic dissemination in laryngeal cancer, can be more easily seen and distinguished from the strap muscles than on CT or MRI. For benign laryngeal disease, ultrasound can readily detect follicular and thyroglossal cysts. While real-time ultrasound can assess vocal cord palsy, there have been mixed findings as compared to standard laryngoscopy findings. Vocal cord palsy may be indicated when ultrasound shows atrophy and absence of movement of the vocal cord, posterior cricoretinoid atrophy, anteromedial deviation of the retinoid, or enlargement of the ventricle and piriform sinus. It is clear that in skilled hands, high-resolution ultrasound provides a powerful tool for the diagnosis of malignant and benign laryngeal abnormalities.